begins, who prosecutors are calling a cold-blooded killer. And a population unleashed. The main reason local animal shelters say they're at their limit. This is your only primetime news. You are watching Fox 51 News at 9. Good evening and thank you very much for joining us for Fox 51 News at 9. I'm Sarah Allegre. Glad you're here. I renewed tonight since Sunday. At least two people have died because they were not wearing their seatbelt. Officials now more than ever urging us to buckle up. Fox 51's Raina Revel joins us in studio and tells us about this shocking number of deadly wrecks on our East Texas roads. Raina. Sarah, according to TxDOT, just in these first 25 days of the year, there have been at least 10 deadly crashes in East Texas in which a seatbelt could have saved a life. You may have seen one of these videos. They show the fatal consequences of not wearing your seatbelt when behind the wheel. Texas law requires that everybody in every seating position where there's a seatbelt available, those need to be used. So whether you're in the front seat or in the back seat, seatbelts are required for every occupant of the vehicle. Seatbelt saved an estimated 1,500 lives in 2017 alone. 47% uh, of the people who were killed were not wearing a seatbelt. Seatbelts save lives. Buckling up is the single most effective thing that you can do to protect yourself in a crash. Not wearing a seatbelt is not a fashion statement. Unbuckled passengers can very easily be thrown out during the impact of a crash. Through the front, rear or side windows. Right, the seatbelt is designed to keep the body in the actual seat. So if you have airbags, when airbags deploy in a crash, you are there to receive the benefit of those airbags. That along with seatbelts can become your only saving grace. Of course, airbags are designed to work with seatbelts, not replace them. A lot of people believe the myth that, oh, if I have airbags, I don't have to wear a seatbelt. Uh, that's wrong. The airbag can actually kill you if you're not wearing a seatbelt. According to AAA, a fatal car crash occurs on Texas roadways every two and a half hours. Texas hasn't seen a deathless day in over 15 years. And to combat this issue, simply buckle up. When it comes to children eight and under, the safest place they could be during a crash is in their car seat, along with the whole family buckled and ready to go. By properly restraining yourself and your children in your vehicle with a seatbelt can save your life and others down the road. In studio, Raina Revel, Fox 51 News. Message, Raina, thank you. We have some new details this evening on the tragic crash that ended the life of a Tyler Legacy High School student. 24 year old Jason Charles is charged with intoxicated manslaughter for the death of Lily Thornburg in a wreck on January 14th. According to a warrant obtained by Fox 51 News, Charles told police he had six cocktails at a local bar before the crash. The documents state Charles was driving behind Thornburg on South Broadway Avenue the night of that crash. He then allegedly hit the back of her car, causing it to flip into the front yard of the residence. Thornburg later died in the hospital. Now she would have turned 18 just this last week.